So far, the Rams are having a winning start to their season, going three and zero. Doing a beautiful job. Our defense is up the to Our defense is all eyes are on Cooper Cup. He was perfect for them a week ago, getting a pair of touchdowns and some massive yardage. It's the Rams and the Cardinals, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun at State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. Today it's week four and we've got what should be a great one here. The Los Angeles Rams taking on the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you... So out come the Rams the now for score. their first possession. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A quick pass to Cup. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. They'll drop to throw. The cards get Damn it, oh, where's my second skill? There, it, it says almost basically guaranteed, it's basically guaranteed that I'm gonna break the track. So if I a linebacker. Where's that, where's that hurt? This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Being chased out left. They'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so we'll leave them with second and a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when they decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny them the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Yeah. Meanwhile, here's a second down throw, it's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They're going to look to throw. They throws it on the move, but can't connect as that fall is incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, it will. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Play fake here on first down. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In That's my case, comfort just job. a little bit too much. Now a second down throw in the end zone, but it's incomplete. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. He'll drop to throw. And this pass back it up. Excellent catch the ball. Third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now drive this start a great field position. It's facing fourth down. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. Early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage... The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. As they've got it as we resume action. Now that's called in downfield. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's
it's a gain of 34. And now he's really knocking on the door for 700. That is career catch 699. A first down carry from Barkley. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And the Rams at 3-0 here in the month of September. And they're coming on a pretty good roll here. Winners of three straight. And I thought they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience. Oh, victory. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. They'll look to throw. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. It's their quarterback. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Rams have taken the lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. He capped off that last drive himself, had the touchdown run. Now he'll take over here again, first and ten. That guy's about to rush us. You can see that. I think that's what I'm making. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Can't move if you jump on a pack. Back in his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part gets a chance to get after the quarterback it's almost like a reverse red zone they can create points using their defense and this time they take their man down the sack cost him only a yard it's second and 11 from deep in their own territory they look to throw that'll be caught by cut and he's brought down but not before they get it across the 20 yard line he is putting on a show in this second quarter racking up the receiving yards as he has a first down and they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now, that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate, as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. The throw over the middle taken in. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Our score 10 to 3 with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Coming up at halftime, I'll go for one personality. That's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. They'll look to throw again. And that will complete downfield the cut. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. They'll set up a throw out to his left. And he's got it. That's cut for a ram touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Rams go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six. So here are the Rams to 
take over. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, but 9.9 times out of 10, just missed that one. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Uh, give me the play. Guys, don't go. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, he did And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the Rams first down. Back to throw again. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he's brought down. Well, now hang on here because Saquon Barkley is in some discomfort, so we're going to have a pause here for an injury. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 41. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. Completes it right side to Cooper. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Now they'll throw here on the gun. And the Rams are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. They go play action here on first down. Forced out to his left. Touchdown, Rams! A great play there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Rams have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley gets a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The Rams on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. They'll look to throw. And it's a fumble. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because the And the Rams now coming out on the field. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game. But it falls down to the ground incomplete. Second and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in the tie ball game in the fourth quarter. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. 
And next time, Brandon, I think you might want to consider running it because those defensive backs, they were plastered to the receivers, and they weren't letting up as that play went on. Steps away to his left. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, it took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to save every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. They'll come up first and ten here. They'll look to throw. That's complete to Slayton. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. He'll look to throw. That'll be caught. It's caught. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 17-yard line. He's back to throw. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Barkley diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That was I an excellent cover cool. behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while. What? I never said so for the Cardinals, they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here. And they will hit the road next week for a date with stupid Madden.